Hi, my name is Rose. The reason why I'm here today is to start the conversation about being sexually abused in the black community and telling my own personal narrative about being sexually abused growing up. It was after my sister had left the house, like had run away and had lived in a, with other relatives. Uh, I was around eight or nine years old and I would have this uncle that would come to the house um, that would babysit me. Uh, sometimes I would sit on his lap and there was this game that we used to play and it was just like horsey where I would just sit on his lap and he would just bounce me on his leg. And sometimes he would just shift my position from where I was on his, on one of his legs to like in between his leg. And we would just do the riding of the horsey play. Um, there were times where whenever I was feeling sick and he would offer to rub my stomach and he would place his hands on my stomach and rub it for a little while. And then he would move his hands lower and lower and lower. For me, it was difficult. I never talked to any adult. I never talked to any of my siblings about it. I never had the words. I never knew how to bring it up to my mother. How uncomfortable I felt around him. How uncomfortable he made me feel. Uh, the things that we were doing whenever he was babysitting me. Um, and my behavior oft, often shifted as well. The way that I behaved with other children, some of the things that I would do that I had done with him earlier. I remember though growing up how I was often told that I needed to watch my behavior because I would be enticing people with what I was doing that I would be I was asking for it asking to be looked at in a certain kind of way or asking to be touched in a certain kind of way that I was the one that was all like a little horny like young child so I it, it, I never knew how to bring it up to adults and I was really estranged from like my cousins until like much later in my life. And it wasn't until like after my sister passed away that like some of my cousins and I were able to open up about some of the things that we had gone through. We were not molested by the same person. It was still within the family. Um, that we were not able to bring it up to the adults because we were often blamed for our behaviors and the way that we interacted with adults. Um, what advice I would give to a person now, especially of the younger generation, is like finding that person that you can confide in advice that I would give to family members is learning to listen to their children, learning to have conversations around sex and not be afraid or uncomfortable, um, and make it community oriented because we all need to be having these conversations because it is happening a lot. It wasn't until I was much, much older that I was able to just communicate only to like my cousins and my other close relatives about what had happened to me and who had done it. And like even when we still see them at like family functions, we culturally still show respect to our elders. Um, because communally we all acknowledge that it does happen, but we don't speak about it. So, the way that it has affected me, um, I'm not that close to my family. 
um, because of all the abuse that I had endured growing up. And I have intimacy issues. I have a hard time like <laughs> connecting to people and relating to folks or building a lasting relationship with people. Um, it makes me desire to help heal myself and heal my community who has been harmed and violated. It makes me want to initiate conversations so that we can start healing, so that we can stop shaming, stop um, blaming, stop abusing. It makes me just want to be supportive for folks who are currently going through this now because that was... It was, it was a difficult time going through that. And it's like, the things that I always say is like, oh, it's, it's this year and this thing is still happening. And it's happening across seven continents. It's happening across all the islands. It's happening across seven billion plus people are affected by this, you know. 